everyone and welcome back to the Web Dev Coach, where my goal is to teach you web development. I've veered off the path a little from going uh, linearly through the Free Code Camp uh, curriculum. I started with HTML, but I realized I was going a bit slow. Additionally, there are a number of uh, guides and tools out there and even YouTube videos that show you how to do um, you know, HTML, CSS, all the Free Code Camp basics. And what I did find is that there aren't enough YouTube videos showing uh, wannabe developers how to create entire projects. So that's what I'll be going through uh, today, looking to um, teach you exactly how to start a project, um, more specifically how to start a free code camp project, and uh, let's get started. So um, the technologies used uh, that we'll use for the uh, first iteration of the um, random quote machine will be React and Git. So um, if you need help with any of those two, I will not be teaching those two in the videos. We'll be using them and you'll see me code and watch me code using React and Git, but I will not be explicitly teaching uh, React and Git. If you need help with those, please um, Google, I know for React, Free Code Camp goes over that. And for Git, uh, Code School is a very good resource. Uh, look in the description below for a uh, link to that class. And um, some prerequisites for this class uh, in terms of knowledge. Um, you need to know uh, React. And in terms of tools install installed on your computer, you'll need to know NPM. Uh, I mean, you'll need to have NPM installed on your terminal, and we'll go over uh, making sure that's installed. You will need to have, an, and you'll need to have Git installed on your computer. If any of those two are not installed, please uh, Google it, figure out how to install that. Um, just Google NPM installation or Git installation, and there should be a guide to take you through steps on installing those two. With that out of the way, let's get to some code. To get started, we open up the terminal on our Mac, uh, on our Windows. We open up the command line, and uh, we'll have a screen that looks something like this uh, with a black background. And our goal uh, for the next minute or two is to make sure that we have NPM installed on our local machine and to make sure that we have Git installed on our local machine. And um, the terminal makes it really easy. All we have to type is npm hyphen v, and you'll see something come out. Um, this is the version number of the currently installed npm on our local machine. So you see that I personally have 6.2.0 installed. Uh, same thing for git, git hyphen v, git hyphen hyphen version. As you see, I made a mistake, and uh, git easily corrected my mistake. Um, I'm not one to re-record a video for a stupid little mistake. I'd rather you see me make a mistake and just see me uh, pick up where I had left off. Anyway, git hyphen hyphen version, and you'll see that the git version that I have is 2.19.0. Um, so I have both git and npm installed on my local computer. Uh, please pause the video and make sure you have npm and git installed on yours. All right, the next step in getting a React project off the ground, uh, from the ground up, um, after checking our NPM and our Git all installed, is to actually install a React project on our local machine. Uh, the best place to get started, to understand how React works, and um, just if you, in case you forget how to get a React project off the ground, is reactjs.org. Here, you'll find uh, an excellent resource. It uh, has various examples of React. It has a tutorial. The tutorial is amazing, and I truly, truly recommend going through it if you haven't already done so. And it has documentation uh, that we'll use to get started. So um, here at reactjs.org, click the big blue Get Started button. On the right sidebar, you'll see Get Started, Act React to a Website, and Create a New React App, which is what we're interested in doing. So let's click that. And here you'll see um, Create React App. 
and it's basically an environment ready created for us to get started with React. Here on the bottom, you'll see that uh, we will need Node uh, greater than version 6 and NPM greater than version 5.2 on our machine. Um, then to create this project, we simply type npx space create react app space the name of our application in our um, for us the name of the application can be anything I'll name it um, web dev coach random quote machine uh, we go into that folder that we had just created or into that project that we just created and uh, basically run npm start to get the development server running I'll show you all of that uh, in a second I just wanted to show you uh, exactly what we'll be following, the documentation we'll be following, and where that documentation is located. Let's quickly jump back to the terminal uh, where uh, we left off with checking our npm version, our git version, and run the uh, commands that we saw on reactjs.org. Um, if you remember, we need a node version greater than uh, 6.2, I believe it was, and you see on my local machine I have 10.9. Um, so make sure to check your node version as well, uh, and I apologize for not mentioning that, mentioning that earlier. Uh, anywho, let's create our um, React project by typing npx uh, create react app space um, and the name of the project. In my case, I will name it web dev coach uh, random quote machine, and of course you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, you can also name it random quote machine. Actually, I'll change my mind. I'll name it that since I'm already in my web dev coach examples uh, directory and press enter. And here, uh, it'll take a while to install all the dependencies. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once everything is installed. And nicely done. If you see something like this um, in your favorite browser, something that looks similar, something with the React symbol, something running, uh, you did everything correctly. It does not need to look exactly like this. Um, it should just be something running on localhost 3000 that has the React symbol on it. Uh, just to recap, um, the goals of this video, we wanted to start a React project on our local machine. And the next thing we want to tackle, tackle is integrating FreeCodeCamp's testing environment into our React application. So let's go ahead and try and do that. Let's go to the Free Code Camp um, webpage for the random quote machine. Uh, here you'll see that they describe the user stories. The user stories are actual tests that we'll need to run um, as we code that we need to pass in order to um, create a passable project. Um, to integrate React's uh, testing environment, the testing tool that they've created, we'll scroll down here and says, um, we can use the CDN link to run the tests in any environment that we like, and that's our local environment. And we'll need to um, basically um, use the script here and link it into our React application. Uh, as any developer, I like to borrow code that's already pre-written. So I'm actually going to open up the link that says this code pen pen uh, that Free, Free Code Camp had created for us to actually use. Um, and in this link, you'll see that a script tag was already written for us. Um, in the HTML box, I'm going to copy or cut this into my clipboard so we can easily paste it into our React app. So I'm going to cut that. Now it's in my clipboard and uh, leave this site here. I'm going to open the React application that we had just created um, in our favorite text editor. My text editor of choice is Visual Studio Code. So you'll see here I'm going to open the random quote machine project right there. Okay, great. And now that it's open, we're going to go into the public folder and open the index.html in that public folder. And right before the body tag, let's paste that, um, 
that testing environment, that t testing scripts that FreeCodeCam wrote for us right here before the body tag. And let's go back to our React app that is hot reloading. And at the top left, you'll actually see the testing suite that FreeCodeCamp has created with the um, with all the FreeCodeCamp projects. And can we find random quote machine is right there. We run some tests, and we see that we are failing all but one, I believe. I hope. Yes. See, here we go. Um, we're passing the technology stack, but we are failing all the tests. Um, hopefully this video will get to pass the first test. And that's basically how we uh, integrate free code camp tests into our React tutorial. If you didn't get it the first time, feel free to rewind. This is YouTube. This is why YouTube is so great. Let's get back to um, tackling the, the tests that free code camp gave us. Um, again, I want to remind you of the test that we have to pass. We're looking to pass one test and one test only, the first test, where they can see a wrapper element with a corresponding ID of quote hyphen box. Um, before we go into that, I want to introduce you to the actual actual meat of the React code in the uh, React project we just built. The meat of the React code is here in the source folder. It's in app.js. And you'll see that the text written here corresponds with the actual um, React application written. So I can actually write, uh, this is Sparta, right here in the middle. And the React application will automatically reload, having seen a change. Do not forget to save your code. That's something um, developers always forget to do. Please save your code, and React will, will see that you've changed your code and render the change. So um, you can go ahead and play with the code everywhere you wish. Um, you will not break your computer. Uh, nothing bad will happen. Let's go forth with passing the first free code camp test, which was to create a wrapper element. And a wrapper element is just usually a div that surrounds the innards of the application. So in this case, uh, it starts on line eight. It has a class name of app. Uh, it should be given an ID of quote hyphen box. So we just give it an ID of quote hyphen box. You remember um, IDs from the HTML section of Free Code Camp. If you don't remember IDs, I suggest you go back to the HTML section of Free Code Camp um, to get reacquainted with them uh, because React uses JSX, which is very similar to HTML. Uh, we save. Again, we save our application, and our React application will re-render. Now let's go back to our free code camp testing environment. We'll run the test here, and here you'll see we have a bigger number now. It's 3 out of 12. Additionally, we have a wrapper element with a corresponding ID of quote hyphen box. We are passing that test. We have a check mark. Great job, everybody. And that, that basically finishes the video for today. Um, if you remember, we had a stretch goal of passing the first free code camp test, and we achieved it. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. Please click subscribe, click like. I'll be leaving uh, links to resources that I find helpful for Git uh, in the description. And please leave some comments. Uh, what did you think? Uh, did I go too fast? Did I go too slow? Do you have? Do you still have questions that I can help answer? I'll be in the comments below uh, answering any questions. And that's it. This is the Web Dev Coach signing off.